there. Kelly Mank, Executive Director of BNI Maine. I had a conversation this week with a leader here in one of our chapters. Little did he know that I was going to turn this into an education moment. And it was regarding how to overcome or handle when, whether it's a specific member or somebody at their company, is constantly coming to them with negativity and with problems and just wanting to kind of spew not really positive information. And the concern that this this person had was not necessarily how to overcome this specific situation, which we're going to talk a little bit about, but more how to continue to want to help the person that just spews negativity. And that, you know, every time you see them, you almost want to turn around because it's like, oh, something is going to come from this conversation. And it's just not something I want to fill my head with. And this was a really important conversation because I was able to relate to it right away. And it's something that sometimes as leaders, whether you're a leader in your BNI chapter, your company, with colleagues, other organizations, or even at home, sometimes as a leader, people feel the need to kind of fill you in all the time or spew negativity. And they think that they're either doing you a favor or um, they they think they're helping you. And unfortunately, a lot of times it does create a the opposite effect. So when someone does come to us and or come to you as a leader, and uh, if it's something that happens a lot, and I'm not talking about one or two situations, I'm talking about, you know, the only time you ever hear from this person is something bad or something negative, or they just want to complain. Um, my, my advice is to, you know, really listen to them. No matter what it is, you, you, uh, you definitely want to listen to them and you want to hear their challenge and first and foremost, make them make this person feel heard again, whether it's somebody in your chapter or your 10 year old kid, um, because no matter what, if you're not hearing them, it, it puts people on a defensive and that's never helpful. And immediately, you really want to try to shift the conversation into a solutions-based conversation. Sometimes that does require explaining a why behind how something is done or why something is done. Um, so sometimes it does start with really explaining to the why to make sure this person understands. However, shifting it into a solutions-based is a mind shift that is sometimes hard for people. So you know, you're going to hear their complaint and then you're going to say something along the lines of what can we do to have a positive outcome or how could we have done this differently to have a positive outcome? What could have happened differently to have a positive outcome? Um, and, and that is my question a lot and, and very often is, OK, what do we do to make this not happen again? Or what do we do to make sure everyone's happy at the end of the day? Um, and really kind of shifting that to a positive a solutions-based conversation opens people's minds a little. And once you are able to hear their concern and shift the mindset into a positive conversation, often, you know, from that point, there's some clear expectations that are set and, and you can build healthy boundaries from there. And sometimes you're going to have people who just don't understand and, and that's okay. Um, you want to try not to have an issue with every time they're talking or you want to really try not to build that that barrier where your mind goes to a negative place every time they talk and try to keep an open mind on the why behind their behind their reasoning for coming to you you know they obviously look up to you they obviously think that you can make a change or that you can help with a change so the the why behind them coming to you is definitely a positive so I, I thought this was really fitting for, you know, leadership changeover and uh, definitely regarding the conversation that came to me this week. Um, it just, it kind of hit home and, and hit a perfect place. So I hope this helps, um, you know, really taking those conversations and, and really working with people who seem to come to you with a negative topic all the time and, and kind of spinning it around and how can we help and understanding why they're coming to you. So Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have a great week and happy networking.